Christ in us. The hope of glory. My name is Godfrey. I am connected from Germany. I am so happy today because the God of my father, my father, have done it for me after a long cry and a long waiting. So I want to thank God because he has answered me. This is my German document. This is my Nigeria passport. This is my resident permit. So officially, I started looking for this document November 2016. November 2016, finally, I got it this last week on Monday. I went yes. there. He told me, your card is ready. You can collect it. Then I signed. I collect my card. When I came home, I started rolling on the floor because this is the promise. I promised myself that the day I will get it, this is what I will do. And I've done it. I'm so happy today. I am free from hiding. I am free from shame. I am free from limitation. I am free from restriction. I am free from everything. I say, God be the glory in Jesus' name. Put those hands together for Jesus Christ. If you know that today your testimony will not escape you, put those hands together for Jesus Christ. Okay, so for the benefit of the viewers listening to your testimony, for the past several years you've been looking for this document, can you tell us the challenges you encountered? There is so much, there was so much challenge because my, I said, like I said, officially 2016 November I started. Then after some time I got rejected. I was praying, you know, doing one or two things. I never met Apostle Prince, my father, my father at that time. I met him on Facebook, August 2021. Then I joined. I was doing my little, I joined, I joined as a partner, doing, the work, doing what I know I can do. Then October, the, the same 2021 October, I got another uh, appointment. So I went there. After a while, they told me straight, face to face, that you are rejected. Everything I gave them, they hand over it to me. Then there's one word the man used, he said, they're expecting us. Oh, immediately I burst, I started crying. That means, be expecting us, is 90% that you, you'll, be, you'll be taken back to your country. Then I, I left the office, I came to the train station when I want to enter the train, I called the church line. After like 10 minutes, I got a reply, it will not happen when God has not said it. I said, Amen. I carry my phone, I put it on my head, I put it on my chair, I will say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Already I was inside the train. I was crying inside the train, but nobody knew what was happening to me. So, I stay, I stay, I stay. I contacted my lawyer. My lawyer told me that I should not worry, that everything will be fine. I said, okay, no problem. I keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying. Then, September, when they were giving cement, uh, contribution of cement, everything concerning the church building, there was one particular Sunday that didn't announce that after service today, that is going to be online on Facebook, that people should connect. On these days, really, I was not at home. I was at work. I followed from work. I was holding my phone like this because I was looking. They see you with phone is a problem. When I see somebody coming, I hide it. But my earphone was on my ear. I was listening to what daddy was saying. So I said, okay, I will try today and connect on Facebook. I want to speak with daddy direct. As God will have it, as I just check, daddy was on Facebook. Believe me, I was the first person that called daddy. He now said, where are you connecting from? I said, I'm connecting from Germany. He said, okay, what do you want God to do for you? I said, I want God to release my document. I have done everything. I don't know what is holding my document. It's okay, it is done. 
What do you want to do for God? I say, I know what I will do. It's okay. Congratulations. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Can you celebrate Jesus Christ with a clap offering? You that is seated here today, your old testimony will not escape you in Jesus' name. She says, I, I, checked, I got an email. I said, they said, from this uh, office, that on this day, no, September 26th, sorry, that's in September, yeah, September 26th, I got an email saying that October 10, 10 o'clock, come to our office, if you are coming, come with social amount of money, come with your normal photo picture, uh, what again, uh, my birth certificate, and I say, ah, ah. I check it. I say, this email address, is it for me or they do be sick? <laughs> I check it. Then I say, it is for me. Then I check the office. I check my name. I check my code because it's that 2021. They already given me a code, which this is what they call Dundu. Once you have this, for this paper, I have more than seven or six or seven. Because I do throw them away. This is three I'm still having. If you have this, you can be picked up at any time when you have worst case. So since that 2021, they already gave me a code. I checked the code. I said, this is my code. I said, okay, no problem. I, then I called somebody and explained to the person. The person said, yeah, yeah this is a document appointment. Be happy. Then immediately I shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. And as God will have it, October 10, 10 o'clock, I went there. They called my number. I went inside. They completed me. They did everything. The woman told me, congratulations. Now you, you, you are free. I said, Jesus, your plastic will come in so, so weeks. I said, okay. Thank God. I waited for this week. I did not see it. I said, no, this cannot happen. Then on Monday this week, I went there myself. I said, please, I have done this, I have done that. And they told me my plastic would come so, so weak. And the week is over. I have not got to me. What is happening? The lady said, okay, wait. I waited. He checked, checked, checked. It's okay. Your card is already here. You can go and sit down. You collect it. That was how I collect my card on Monday. Glory be to God of my father, my father in Jesus' name. <laughs> Put those hands together for Jesus Christ. So we thank God for your wonderful testimony. Please, before you go, can you tell the viewers out there who are not yet a partner the benefits of partnership? Yes, there's a lot of benefit in partnership because I remember when, when I joined partner, I, there was a place I was managing. In me, I was scared because I did not have the qualification, really. It's about uh, montage, assemblies of uh, uh, motor component. Here we call it montage. I did not have the experience. But I was scared. Then I said, okay, I'm a partner. I will do this. I will do this. I will. I keep on saying, they were not showing me, put your eye, put your eye, put your eye. okay. After some time, the, 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 the company that took me there, because they gave me three months prior, I was praying, saying, no, I like this work. I want to do it. I like this work. I want to do it. I must do it. I know it. I, I must know it by fire, by force. I'm a partner. I will not be thrown out like that. So as God will have it, before that three months elapsed, the company that sent me there, I was on my way to work one day. They called me. They said, Tomorrow we want to see you in the office. I said, okay. Then after the call, I was scared. I said, oh, maybe they want to throw me out before the three months. Then as God will have it, the following day I went there. They said, sign here, we are giving you one year contract. I said, oh, 
That was how that will happen that 2021. In short, to be a partner is good. It's like you have you are you are in, you are in covenant with God, and God will not allow anything evil happen to whoever that is a covenant with him. No matter the stress, no matter what that person is passing through, God's eye is always upon us. And that is what I have to say. In short, I'm the happiest man on earth from this moment in the end of my Put life. Put your hands here. together for Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. May your testimony be permanent in your life. I will pray for more testimonies to you in Jesus' name. Ce monsieur depuis Allemagne vient de témoigner à la gloire de Dieu d'Apôtre Prince Icar Reboré. Il dit de, il y a de cela depuis 2017. Il cherchait à voir les papiers à l'étranger, ce qui n'a pas marché, ce qui l'a affecté négativement sur tous les plans. Il n'y a pas de travail, il n'y a rien à faire et il ne fait que s'arranger pour survivre dans l'étranger. Jusqu'à ce que l'année dernière, l'homme de Dieu Apôtre Prince, en cette année, L'homme de Dieu était en direct sur Facebook en disant que les partenaires soient connectés. Il était connecté immédiatement, l'homme de Dieu l'a localisé. Et puis il a dit qu'est-ce que lui veut de la vie. Il dit qu'il a besoin de papier à l'étranger. Parce qu'il envoie en main bico rouge pour dire que c'est négatif. L'homme de Dieu a prophétisé sur sa vie. Immédiatement après la prophétie, l'homme de Dieu l'a réparti. Il dit qu'on lui a donné ses papiers à l'étranger. Et après cela, il a gagné un travail confortable qui arrange sa vie aujourd'hui. C'est pourquoi ce matin, il est très content. Son cœur rempli de beaucoup de joie envers le Dieu d'Apôtre de prince et il témoigne à la gloire de son nom. Il nous conseille de continuer à garder nos alliances en partenariat avec Synagogue TV pour nos bénédictions, restauration à la gloire de l'éternel. Battez-vous même pour nos Saint Jésus-Christ.